Welcome back guys. Uh, another day with the SCI. It is now on all four wheels. It runs. And uh, what's going on today with it? Well, uh, today is the day. I've probably said that a million times, but if I was a drinking man, I would have brought a bottle of champagne because I'm going to smash it over this and take it for its first maiden test drive ever. Pretty much done all the stuff on the list, minus a couple, so let's see what happens during the shakedown drive. Despite how dirty it is, despite how unfinished it is, despite how the driver's seat is not bolted down and nice and wobbly, it is time to put some braking mileage on this engine. So, first things first, I'm gonna have to let it warm up a little bit. Because it might be nice and toasty inside the shop. Do we have a display for our temperature here? Yeah, there we go. 56 degrees. 60 in the shop. Once we get engine up the temp. Outside, get the engine temp up. We'll see what the ambient temp drops down to. Back in a minute. sitting here waiting for this thing to come up the temperature a little bit so we can get going and not gonna lie a little nervous always nervous to take it out on the first run you know the first start of a fresh engine the first time you're driving at speed haven't I don't really have any history with this car at all the, the fastest it's ever gone is rolling off the ramp of a tow truck and how much two or three guys can push it so this is um this is new for me we're gonna take a little baby steps before we try to unleash this thing and not to mention we're still in break-in so Hopefully we're not breaking anything. I haven't really gone a whole lot through the rest of the drivetrain or the drive line as far as the rear. It was on my list, but I kind of skipped over the whole nut and bolt section. I was more important about engine startup, and now I'm just excited to drive it. So let's see how this goes. I think we're uh, we're about ready. All right, this is gonna be interesting trying to hold this steer and drive standard at the same time. So bear with me, folks. It's officially on the road. So the point of engine break-in right now is we're trying to seat the rings. So we're trying to not build any boost. But at the same time, we want to put the engine under a little bit of a load so we can build up some cylinder pressure. Also at the same time, not really over revving. So it's kind of a delicate process of giving some power, but not too much power, having some fun, but not too much fun. But, I mean, I'm cheesing right now because this thing is driving. Coilovers actually feel pretty not bad. Way better than the, the Racelands and the other swap car. I definitely like these. This is a, we're only in the, the middle setting too. We're not even super aggressive right now, so. And I mean, look at that. I'm under a night sky. Who doesn't, who wouldn't love to be driving this thing right now?
All right, we made it back. First test drive, and uh, as I promised, yeah, it's a little bit colder out here than it is inside the shop. Let's just give it a quick walk around. Obviously, we got good temps. Nothing smoking. Starting to wear some of the rust away on the uh, the brakes. That's what I like to see. Nice and dry. All right, so. Well, it looks like we should probably uh, put that back in. So successful first test drive. We've got a couple miles on the engine, on the drivetrain. Probably about 400 and so more to go. So stay tuned for the shakedown. An end to a successful day. Uh, we did a good test drive, put a couple of miles on it. I extracted some seat bolts. So all I gotta do now is put the seat bolts back in and uh, stretch this legs a little bit longer and take it for another test drive. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we're going to pick up some parts for another car and those parts happen to be also at the shop that's going to tune it. So might have a little preview. It's definitely premature. I've got like four out of 400 miles on it right now. So it's not time for tuning, but at least it'll be a sneak peek. I wasn't in this too much, but hopefully in the future I will be. I was doing a valve cover gasket, a valve cover um, on twin. It was twin turbo, wasn't it? Isn't that what that is? Huh? Is it a twin? I don't know if that four is a twin. I think it's a twin one. power on yeah, it. I think well, it's a twin. I don't remember exactly. It makes them feel it was a turbo, better. It was a turbo BMW. It just says twin. That's all that matters on the valve so. filler. And then I also got that over there. So if you guys want to see more videos on stuff like that, put that down. Don't put it no, down in the no. comment section. That's, what we, that's how we sell our like souls that. to pay the bills so we can do this. Yeah, We're that's, trying not to do that. That's don't just to keep that. the lights on. So That's a backdrop only. All right. So we'll see you guys in the next one.